Our case system video will show you how to add and manage cases using our global case management system. It will be broken down into two parts. The first part will focus on adding a case, while the second part will focus on managing and closing a case. GCMS Part 1 – Adding a Case After logging in, you'll be taken to our GCMS home screen. You will see here at the top of the screen the Add Case tab. If you click that, you'll be taken to the Add Case page. Here you'll see various sections for adding information to a case. Before you can add information to these areas, however, you will first need to create the case details. There are four basic case service types to select from. Debt collection, investigation, field services, and credit reporting. Your first step will be to select one of those areas as your service type. The items marked with red asterisks are required fields. Once you have everything filled out, you can then add the case to the system by clicking on Add Case. You will now be able to go in and fill out any additional information that pertains to that particular case, select existing or add new clients. If it's an old client, users can type in the name of the client in the existing field and a list of potential clients will be displayed. Select the appropriate one and the fields in the client section will automatically be filled in. Then click on the button to save the details. The same process can be applied for creditors and subjects. It is important that there is no duplications of clients, creditors, and subjects in order to ensure that other features such as the reports can be used effectively. You can add creditors or select existing creditors. When done, be sure to hit the Update Creditor button at the bottom. The Subject section is the field where debtors' details are added to the system. The term Subject has been used so that this field can be used for debt collection as well as investigation. Input Financial Information here you'll want to add the specifics such as debt amount, currency, state the cause of the debt, and show if there are any supporting documents. One important feature here we would like to take a second to highlight is the scaling rate. The scaling rate is a new feature that allows partners to indicate the commission rates for different portions of a debt. When you click on this box, you will be allowed to enter different commission rates based on debt amount. For example, anything up to $25,000 might earn 25% and anything between $25,000 and $75,000 might earn 20% and so forth. Once you have saved your changes, you will see the message Scaling Rate Applied in the Case Details. And it will also appear in the Refer Case to a Partner section. In the Refer Case to a Partner section, once all the details have been entered in the system, select the appropriate partner office from the drop-down list. If the partner has specific requirements, a separate window will open containing a list of these details. Then select a due date and save the information. If there is a scaling rate, you will automatically see it appear in this section. You will add the rate for each amount and then send the file to the referred partner. They will be notified by an automatic notification from the system. Below the Refer Case to a Partner section, you can view your status history, view and add notes, attach files. When attaching a file, a new window will appear. If it does not appear for you, then be sure to enable pop-ups for the site in your browser. And communicate with your partner. This optional feature allows you to send emails back and forth within the system. When you do send an email, it is automatically stored in the notes section, enabling you to have a complete record of any file. The GCMS system also allows you to add a case quickly to get you started with our quick add feature. Later on, you can click on that case number and make any edits necessary. At the top of the page here, you will see the Add Case Quick tab. Click that to go to the page. You will see the page is just a simplified version of the Add Case feature we just looked at. You can put in your case details, client, creditor, and subject information. Just as we did in the Add Case demonstration, if a client, creditor, or subject has already been added before, you should use the existing client, creditor, or subject field. You can add financial info, attach files, and refer the case to a partner. Now that you've seen how to add a case, we will show you how to manage and close one in part two of our case system video series. Thank you for taking the time to look at our global case management system. For further assistance, please send your email to help at gcs-group.com.